Hello. Hey, Nesky. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very yeah, good. good. How are you? I'm okay. You? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, welcome to Interval Interviews number 32. Wow. Um, where are you in the world? We are in Kobe, Japan. Kobe. So where is Kobe? Kobe yeah. is very close to Osaka. Okay. And yeah. And it's the west part of the Japan and uh, from Tokyo, uh, 600 kilometer probably. Yeah. Okay. Or 700. Yeah. And have you been so, in Kobe for the whole of the pandemic? Pretty much, yes. Uh, because, you know, we have a small apartment in Tokyo. And in Kobe, we have a bigger apartment, which is still small, but, and I have my piano here. Okay. So it's better to be in Kobe. Yeah. In Tokyo. As, yeah, I cannot play piano if I'm in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And you've been doing some concerts together online. I've seen yes. some. Oh. Yeah, how, how has that been? It was fun. We had good time. Yeah. But you know, we have our my piano in small soundproof room. It's like okay. capsule. Yes. So very tiny. Mm -hmm. And uh, because we are tiny enough, <laughs> we are there. Not like you. No, you cannot <laughs> go in, I think. <laughs> I, I would be too big for this uh, for this room. Yeah, but September we had two concerts in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. But that's it. You know, people are touring and gigging in Japan. I mean, you know, our friends, musicians. But we decided not to do. Yeah, because many of our audience don't want to come. Yeah, they are fr they are frightened to come. Yeah. And so we couldn't find the point to play in the concerts. So we are kind of waiting. Yeah, right. Or you also lived in some of the time in other countries, didn't you? You you traveled a lot before all yes. this happened. Yeah, well, actually, last year in January and February, yeah. we were in Europe. And also we were in America, yeah. Right, right before, you know, in America, I think, um, California locked down at first, and we were there like uh, a week before that lockdown. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think that? Um, so, did it? You didn't you go to study in Japan, uh, in, in America? Did you both study in America? Yes, where did you study? We studied uh, in Berkeley College of Music okay. in Boston and uh, also New England Conservatory in Boston. Okay. Yeah, and were you both there at the same time? I went to Berkeley at first, then, um. Natsuki decided to come after, after. So I was there before he came, yeah. And was that because you were there or because he wanted to go to Berkeley? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Natsuki, did you go to Berkeley because Satoko was there or? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. And your music is kind of more um, experimental than normal Buckley music. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I th you know, we were not happy actually um, <laughs> at Berkeley. We just, you know, felt like we were in the wrong place. <laughs> right. New England yeah. Conservatory was better. Much, much better for yeah. me, at least, yes. Yeah. 
It's, it's interesting though, I studied at a college in Montreal that was very bebop and it made me go the other direction. It was like, I'm, this is not me. It made it clear to me that this wasn't my path, you know? So did you find being at Berkeley helped you to decide who you were as a musician? Um. When I was in Berkeley, I tried to be jazz piano player. So I wanted to play some like someone else. Yes. I wanted to play like you know Herbie Hancock yeah. or Korea or yeah. you know yeah whoever famous and whoever good. Then I spent like ten years to realize that I cannot. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And I was not happy that, you know, uh, doing that kind of stuff anymore, especially after I met Paul Blaine. Okay. Yeah. And what happened when you met him? He's amazing, isn't he? Yes, he is. Well, you know, at the New England Conservatory because he was teaching there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And I studied with him. And, uh, then he told me like, you know, when I played like someone else and he told me why you do that. So people don't buy your CD. They, they're they gonna buy, you know, someone else's CD. The they are are copying. Copying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, mm -hmm. right, right. So, yeah. And was it the same for you Natsuki in Berkeley? Uh, Berkeley? <laughs> yeah, I, I was busy. Uh, for uh, kitchen helper, he worked uh, for Japanese restaurant. Yeah. Uh, All right, okay. Yeah, yeah in Boston. So uh, oh. I, I was busy <laughs> <laughs> for cooking. You weren't playing the trumpet, though. You were cooking. Yeah. I, I want to try your cooking. Uh, next time we meet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so this is very interesting, this idea of um, trying to be someone else and then deciding to be yourself. Um, what, was it painful, this decision? Was it, did it feel like giving something up or was it kind of happy, a happy moment? Um, if I start talking about this kind of stuff, I gonna take like one hour <laughs> but but you know um if you are improviser you know that it is very important to have kind of confident yes what do you have and uh, you have to tell your story and uh, with your you know you with your way with yes. your language but sometimes it is not easy because you don't have any confidence. And uh, so that was big thing for me. I didn't have any confidence before I met Paul Blair. And you know, Paul Blair was like my idol for a long time. Yes. Then finally I could study with him and he told me, um, just play your music. That's like big thing for me. Yes. Can I do that? Is that okay? I mean, you know, um, so I started accept myself somehow. And how old were you at that point? 37 or eight. No, yes. six, 36 probably. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I right. was not young. Yeah. And uh, was, it, was it last year you were 60? Yes, no. The year before. Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years yeah. ago. So and you now released, you released a lot of CDs. Yes. Mm. <laughs> How many did well, you release? One each month made right. like 12 CDs in a, in a year. Great. Great. <laughs> and, how, and how was it? Was it a lot of work? No, really. Because um, I... I actually made a lot of CD. Even like last year, I made like six or seven, right. something like that. So it's not big difference. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, I like doing that kind of stuff. So, so I need yeah. to I need to apologize to you because we made a recording quite a long a long time ago, and I haven't finished it. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no, yeah, it's kind of complicated to explain. It's not. It's a little bit uh, connected to the conversation, but um, I think it's really good. And and I'm, I'm. But it's one of these projects that I keep on putting it off because of something else comes in, yeah. and and then and then I start to feel guilty because I hadn't finished it. So then it became more complicated, and. Um, I'm very happy to be playing with you again and talking to you so I can apologize and I'm going to get it done because I feel like for me it was a little bit different to what I normally do, you know, in some respects and um, it's, uh, there's something challenging around it but I think it's really great stuff and uh, so I'm, I'm committing to you on camera that I will get it finished this year and then because if not, I am, I am a, fa I will be a failure in to myself. <laughs> wow. What year was that? I just don't remember. What I think year? it was 2014. I think it was 2014. So, so I would like to ask you both a, one final question. Um, how did you first getting uh, begin to play improvised music and jazz and improvised music? What was it that made you? become that kind of musician? Um, so I say first, mm -hmm. um, that was long time ago. I think it's like 59 years ago. Wow. You <laughs> yeah. were very, very young. Yes. I was like three or four years old. And um, since my sister, older sister had a piano lesson, um, we had a piano in a place and I was very little, but I was very um, reserved. I mean, I was not like, you know, kids who play all the time outside. I just stayed my place with my mom and uh, I liked playing piano, but I didn't have any of course, chops, no piano lesson. I didn't know anything about music, but I wanted to play and I improvised. Wow, I just, you just did it completely yeah. naturally. Yes, actually, I still remember, I was like, you know, kind of like dreaming kids, like, you know, um, just ima with imagination or like, you know, I still remember like, some flowers in vase in the room. I was looking at that and uh, I was like dreaming about the, that, you know, color and that um, smell. And I just improvised with piano wow. feeling. And uh, I think, you know, for a long time, I lost that kind of stuff because I started um, studying classical music okay. and uh, yeah, piano teacher always put music in front of me and play this music, you know, written stuff. Then I lost that kind of feeling um, when I got like 18 years old, I found, you know, I remembered how I had good time when I was three or four years ago, four, four years old. Then um, I started looking at improvisation how I can do that so if I go back I think the first time I started playing that kind of you know improvisation is like when I was three or four years old wow yeah. that's amazing and nobody taught you you just did it yourself yeah but I think you know that's all kids do yes I think you're right yeah and your turn yeah. <laughs> when you study? I don't, I don't know when. Maybe, I think after uh, New England consulting. No, you told me the story. When? Uh, <laughs> he started gigging professionally after high school okay. in Japan. 
Oh, that's a not to improvise, but, but still uh, improvised music. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, in code. In code, yeah, but you so know. Did he study like classical music first or brass band or what? How did he start to play band. trumpet? Brass band yeah. and a little bit classical music. Mm -hmm. Then he found his uh, uh, friends, who is like two or three years older than him, took him to some cabaret where he played professionally. Right. And that was still a high school student, you know, in wow. high school. And he played and he found out, wow, we can make money with doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he didn't know how to improvise. Right. But his friend said, Okay, if you see some chords here, it says C, just play Do, Mi, So, that's it. Yeah. And he started improvising. Wow. Yeah. I think that's the first time for you. To yeah, but uh, that, that was it. all in code. <laughs> you in think you could play <laughs> in chords? I don't think so. I don't think he could play in chords. <laughs> I think he played totally free, crazy, insane no, music. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and how, how does being Japanese affect your, does it affect your music in any way? Um, I think that's one of the things that, you know, being Japanese or being Scottish or yeah. English, yeah, whatever. I think we do have that kind of stuff, of course, part of it. Like, you know, I'm a woman, Japanese woman. That's part of myself. That's not all, but... Um, it's a layer. It's one of the layers. Yes, yes. And uh, Japanese, I think, you know, we are very... Well, not me, but... <laughs> <laughs> quiet, calm, I mean, stereotype. Yes. Reserved, quiet, calm. And, but at certain point, we get so crazy, <laughs> so far out. Yeah. That's kind of like, like you know, Japanese uh, character, I think. Yes. Yeah. You know, Merito Banana? No. You know, okay. No? That's uh, like punk Japanese band. punk band. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, will, I will find them. Band. I will look them yeah, up. Yeah. Mer, so how do you say the name? Melt Banana. Great. Yeah. So um, where's the best place for our audience to go and listen to your music before the concert next week? Do you have, where, where, shall I send them to your website? Is that the best place to go? Oh. YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Okay. Great. Well, listen, um, it's really, really wonderful to speak to you again. And uh, um, thank you so much. And it's, you, you've said so many very interesting things just in this interview that are really cool. So both of you, thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>